Hi, this is David Crane and uh, thanks for joining me on this new painting that I've just started. This is going to be four elephants, um, right from the mother down to the youngest one, uh, returning home from wherever they've been for the day. It'll be something I've wanting to do for a while. Uh, what I want to do is experiment not so much with the elephants themselves, but with the foreground, middle distance and the darker trees at the uh, back here. I want to make the foreground uh, reasonably dark, heading towards light in the middle distance and dark at the top. I think I've mentioned it before, sometimes a dark top gives a little bit of drama. What I want to do is just make these particular areas more interesting than the usual uh, heavy impasto at the beginning of a painting fading out to something light and airy at the back. Let's see how it goes. It's going to be quite challenging. I hope you enjoy watching it. If you do enjoy watching it, don't forget, press the subscribe button at the end. So um, here we go. Let's uh, get on with it. Thank you very much. Okay, take care. As you can see where I am now that I've already given the canvas a wash of raw sienna and I've marked in the elephants and some other areas of background plus the tonal values. What I'm doing now is going in with more certainty to mark out where my areas of darker tonal value will be and uh, that will guide me to um, later on it will show through the washes that I've done. So the next stage when I've done this will be to start filling in the elephants with the under painting. I'm starting now to lay in the basic underpainting of the elephant using something like a mixture of um, brown and uh, blue uh, with, with some uh, obviously uh, titanium white uh, mixed in. The browns sometimes are vary between cobalt blue and um, French ultramarine and the browns Van Dyke brown um, is my favourite but uh, sometimes burnt umber uh, depending on, on what, what I want the painting to look like.
I'm starting to lay in the background greens now, some dark, some lightish mid-tone greens. And then I'm going to just do a little bit of the cliff to give me an indication and help for later. I'm now at the stage where I am starting to build up the bodywork of uh, on the elephants, but I'm also um, working on the greenery on the on the middle distance and on the background trees, uh, just to keep the whole thing in balance. Rather than working on one particular area at once, it is better to move around the painting keep the whole thing uh, or, or keep the thing as a whole and um, you get a much better idea of, of where you're going with it and a better balance so um, I'll just uh, keep it on you can see I'll be working on um, the darker tonal values of the elephants building them up ready for um, putting some highlights it's a sort of stage by stage process uh, I often use on um, this sort of subject.
into the elephant starting really with the larger the matriarch uh, of the group and uh, working my way around uh, here and there so I, I'm looking for the balance that I want and um, then I'll, I'll working on uh, the all, all of the elephants the one on the far left uh, for some reason I've left her last it's a slightly different color I wanted to keep it like that the one on the right I've changed the shape uh, of the legs um, because I felt it was looking a bit wooden and a bit static so you may have noticed that from earlier on and it, once again I'm uh, you know going back and forth between the foreground and, and the main subjects the elephants and the middle distance just to keep the thing as a whole keep me in perspective as a whole
I've got the elephants pretty much where I want them so now I'm starting to build up the, fo the foreground um, incidentally the brushes I use are um, maybe a, a, a round uh, brush and for the long thin things um, a dagger uh, which I've, I find quite adaptable um, but sometimes I use a, a rigger and sometimes I use like a number one um, brush which maybe I've cut down with a pair of nail clippers so uh, coming back to the painting I'm starting to put in all of this detail I put a green bush in a front just to add some more color to it and break it up break up the brown it just gives it a bit more interest and a bit of a break I'm just putting a few finishing touches now to the painting. I think it's uh, more or less there and I'm quite happy with it. Uh, I'm always looking at the painting and thinking uh, this needs doing, that needs doing and jumping about uh, which is, is a necessary part and I'll often leave a canvas to rest for a while in the studio. And I hope you've enjoyed watching it. It's quite a large canvas, quite complex it's 30 by 16 inches um, linen canvas which I picked up in Japan and I've uh, stretched here in the studio. The painting itself I've left the background reasonably vague so it's not too tiring on your eyes and put a fair amount of fine detail in the foreground. So the middle distance is somewhere in between 
Um, for the darker colours out of interest, I don't use black. I tend to mix something like French Ultramarine, oh, I'm sorry, French Ultramarine and Van Dyke Brown with uh, sometimes Titanium White to lighten it to get a grey. Or on other paintings like the Three Zebras, I've used quite a few coats of olive green on the stripes, uh, three or four. So it, you know, horses for courses, I just, it's just the way I like to do it. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and it's been some benefit to you. And um, if you have, please click the subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.